Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of functions. And in this question, we have been told that f of x is a such function which has its values between the closed interval 0 and 1 where all the values of function belongs to real numbers are. And f of x in this question is given to us as 4 is to x divided by 4 is to x plus 2. And in this question, we have been told to find the value of f of 1 by 4, 40, f of 2 by 40, f of 3 by 40. This goes on and on till f of 39 by 40 minus f of half. Right. So this is the entire expression given to us and we need to find the value of this entire expression where in this I have f of 1 to 39 by 40. So basically 39 terms here and it is subtracted by f of half. So minus f of half I have to do. Let's see how to solve this question first. So if I simplify this expression for me, I can write it as f of 1 by 40 f of 2 by 40, f of 3 by 40, till f of 19 by 40, right? But I have in total 39 terms. So first 19 terms, if I write it like this, after that, I will have the 20th term with me, f of 20 by 40. Further, I can also write the remaining 19 terms as f of 21 by 40, f of 22 by 40, and so on, till again f of 39 by 40, and the remaining part that is minus f of half, so minus f of half, right? Further, I can simplify this expression as f of 1 by 40, f of 2 by 40, f of 3 by 40. This, all 19 terms, I can write them as it is. The 20th term, if I reduce it, I can write this as 21s or 22s. Are. So now I get it as f of half plus the remaining terms which are present, I can write them as. So 21 by 40, I can write it as 40 minus 19 by 40. Again, 22 by 40, I can write it as 40 minus 18 by 40. Further, I can write it as 40 minus 17 by 40. And likewise, till f of 40 minus 1 by 40. Right? So this is the entire thing of the remaining 19 terms. And after that, we had the same term minus f. Now, if you see, I have one term that is common in the entire list. That is plus f of half and minus f of half. So that basically cancels as it is. Now we need to find the value of this 19 terms and this 19 terms. So if I further write this entire list, I can again write this first 19 terms as it is. So first 19 terms, if you see, it goes from f of 1 upon 40 till 19 upon 40. And now the remaining 19 terms which are present in this second part, let's simplify that also. So now if you see, if I separate the denominator, what I get? 40 by 40, I will get that as f of 1 minus 19 by 40. I'll get that as f of 40 by 40 again, 1 minus 18 by 40, 1 minus 17 by 40. Like that, I will have it till f of 1 minus 1 by 40. Right? So this is our entire list. Now, if I combine both of these lists, I can solve the entire expression given to me. So it becomes f of 1 by 40 plus 
f of 1 minus 1 by 40. So I'm taking one term from the first part of the list. This, so I'm taking first term, and from here I'm taking the last term, right? So like that, I can arrange the entire series of the list into two parts, f of 2 by 40 plus, again I can write with that, f of 1 minus 2 by 40 will should be present. Likewise, I can do it till the last term, that is a 19th term, that makes it f of 19 by 40 plus f of 1 minus 19. Now, when I simplify this entire expression for which we had to find the value, I can write it as in this terms. So if you understand it, I can write this as instead of it, 1 by 40, if I write it as x, so it can be written as f of x plus f of 1 minus x. And this goes for all the values where x goes from 1 by 40 till 19 by 40. So for all these 19 terms, so first of all, let's try to find the value of f of x plus f of 1 minus x. Whatever the value of f of x plus f of 1 minus x we get, we'll substitute it here and get the answer for the question. Right? Let's see. So I already know f of x is given to me 4 raised to x upon 4 raised to x plus 2. So if I find f of 1 minus x, so instead of x, now I am substituting it as 1 minus x. So it becomes 4 raised to 1 minus x upon 4 raised to 1 minus x. So that gives me 4 raised to 1 into 4 raised to minus x. 4 raised to 1 into 4 raised to minus x. Plus if I further write, I can write this 4 upon 4 raised to x. And again, 4 upon 4 raised to x plus so if I solve this further, what I get 4 upon 4 raised to x and this becomes 4 plus 2 into 4 raised to x upon 4 raised to x. So now I can see that I can directly cancel this idea. Now if I further solve this, what I get 4 upon, here if you see from the denominator, I can take out 2 common. So 2 is left in the first part, nothing is left. So 4 raised to x is here written. 2 raised to 1, 2 square. So basically it becomes 2 upon 2 plus 4 raised to x. So what I get here, f of 1 minus x is 2 upon 2 plus 4 raised to x. So I had f of x as 4 raised to x upon 4 raised to x plus 2. f of 1 minus x becomes 2 upon 2 plus 4 raised to x. If I add both of these ideas, I have the same denominator, 4 raised to x plus 2. And when I have the same denominator, the terms in the numerator directly get added. Right? So it becomes again 4 raised to x plus 2. That gets cancelled to get the answer as 1. Once you get the answer as 1 in this, I know for every such part of the terms, so for all these 19 terms, the answer would become 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus this to be done 19 times since I have 19 terms. So the answer for the expression that is given to us becomes 19. So the value was asked for this entire expression. And once we solve these functions, we got it simplified as f of x plus f of 1 minus x that where x goes from 1 by 40 to 19 by 40, all of these terms are added. We solved f of x plus f of 1 minus x, and we got that as, so just substituting that as 1 19 times, I get the answer for the question that is 19. So here, if you see the option which matches here in the question, so the correct answer for the question turns out. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, right? where functions are involved. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you're finding these videos helpful. Thank you.